let's solve some questions that have been previously asked in gate. Our first question is the position of base course in a flexible pavement is we know that the position of base course in a flexible pavement is above the sub base or drainage layer and below the surface course. It's like that the surface course and then after that the base course. So the base course lies above the sub base and below the surface course. So I think the first one is correct over the sub base. Okay, over the sub base. Our second question is the load transfer to lower layers in flexible pavement is by I think I told you or not that the load from the pavement is transferred to the bottom by grain to grain contact. So the C is the correct option. Okay. Now our third question. It says that for laying bituminous carpet over water bound macadam road surface, one has to apply uh, the first one is tack code, then seal code, then bitumen grout, and then the D is slurry code. The first one is the correct option tack coat. Tack coat is a layer of bituminous material which is used for waterproofing purposes. So tack coat is the correct option. Now the fourth question. It says that the flexible pavement derives stability primarily from okay D the flexural strength of the surface course. We know that flexible pavement does not possess flexural strength. Okay. The third option, the binding powder of bituminous material. The binding powder of bituminous material is used for aggregate interlocking. So only C cannot be the option. Okay, B, the cohesion alone. Alone cohesion cannot provide stability. There should be some other things to provide stability. I think A is the correct option. Aggregate interlock, particle friction, and cohesion. Together, these three can provide stability to a flexible pavement. So A is the correct option let's take a look on our fifth question so our fifth question is what is the equivalent single wheel load of a dual wheel assembly carrying 20,440 newton each for pavement thickness of 20 centimeter mm, and uh, center to center spacing of tires is 27 centimeter and the distance between the walls of tires is 11 centimeter so you can draw a figure like this this is a dual wheel assembly and the spacing between them is given as 27 centimeter and the wall distance is given as 11 centimeter this is the axle and you have to find out the equivalent single wheel load it means you have to find out the load for a pavement of 20 centimeter thickness and you can find out that equivalent load by calculating the stress value at 20 centimeter depth I told you about a graph in equivalent single wheel load, a log graph which says that log P, here P is 20,440 Newton, it means log 20440 is at a depth D by 2. D by 2 means 11 by 2, that is log 5.5. Now you have to find out the value at a depth of 20 centimeter. I told you about another that is log 2P means 40880, which is at a depth of 2s here 2s will be equal to log 54 now you have to find out the value of that stress at a value of log 20 i'll name it as p dash you can find out the value of log p dash by interpolating these values on the x-axis and the y-axis so the formula that comes out while interpolating log 10 p dash is equal to log 10 20440 plus log 10 40880 minus log 10 20440 divided by log 10 54 minus log 10 5.5 into 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 it is with this term log 10 20 minus log 10 5.5 log 10 5.5 okay after resolving these values by so this is the formula for interpolation after solving these values 
the value of log 10 p dash will come out to be 30242.N which is the equivalent single wheel load so it is 30242.26 so the correct option is D so moving to our sixth question uh, it says that a two-lane single carriageway is to be designed for a design life period of 15 years total two-way traffic intensity in the year of completion of construction is expected to be 2000 commercial vehicles per day vehicle damaging factor is 3.0 the lane distribution factor is 0.75 assuming an annual rate of traffic growth as 7.5 percent the design traffic expressed as cumulative number of standard axles is okay so you have to find out the value of csa and in this uh, in this question you have given that n is equal to 15 years a is equal to 2000 pdf that is f is equal to 3 rate of growth is 7.5 percent lane distribution factor that is d 0 0.75 the formula for csa is equal to 365 a square bracket 1 plus r raised to the power n minus 1 into f into d if d is given to you like the lane distribution factor is given to you you can multiply it with this value okay and divided by r okay so putting all these values in this equation you will get the value of csa equal to 42.9 into 10 raised to the power 6 okay so this question is a totally formula based question and you will get this value straight up to 42.9 into 10 raised to the power 6 okay so a is the correct option so moving to our next question this question says that the average daily traffic on a stretch of road is 300 commercial vehicles per lane per day design traffic repetitions for 10 years when vehicle damaging factor is 2.5 and traffic growth rate is 7 percent now in this question you have not given the lane distribution factor so you're not going to multiply it in this equation okay n is equal to 10 years and vehicle damaging factor f is equal to 2.5 and growth rate r is equal to 7 percent and anticipated traffic a is equal to 300 you have to find out the value of csa it is equal to 365 a 1 plus r raised to the power n minus 1 into f divided by r okay putting all these values here you will put the value of r as 7 by 100 after putting all these values you will get the answer as 3.8 msa and a is the correct option our eighth question says that in the context of flexible pavement design the ratio of contact pressure to the tire pressure is called the rigidity factor and the factor is less than unity when the tire pressure is the factor will be less than unity it means rigidity factor will be less than unity what is the value of contact pressure it is between 5 to 7 for normal vehicles and from 7 to 9.5 for heavy vehicles okay let's take the middle value 7 okay the contact pressure 7 kilogram per centimeter square tire pressure to this side it is in kg per centimeter square and our values are given in newton per mm square now if you convert this 7 into newton per mm square it will come out to be as 0 0.7 so tire pressure should be greater than 0 0.7 newton per mm square and it is the fourth option that is d more than 0 0.7 newton per mm square okay i want to tell you one more thing which is rigidity factor is equal to 1 for tire pressure almost equal to 7 kilogram per centimeter square and as the tire pressure increases than 7 kilogram per centimeter square the rigidity factor decreases than 1 and vice versa now let's move to our ninth question and this question says that the data given below pertain to the design of a flexible pavement you have given this data initial traffic traffic growth rate design life vehicle damaging factor distribution factor the design traffic in terms of million standard axles to be catered would be now this question goes to you you put these values directly into this formula and find out the answer i'll tell you the correct answer the correct um, the correct answer is 21.00 msa you put all these values directly into this formula 
and then find out the value of CSA okay it is very easy very very easy this is the third question which we are doing today okay so 21 is the correct answer it is the third option I want to tell you one more thing the CPVD written in initial traffic is commercial vehicles per day moving to our 10th question this question says that the following observations were made on an axle load survey on a road so you have given this table of axle load and repetitions per day the standard axle load is 80 kN equivalent daily number of repetitions for the standard axle load are you have to find out the equivalent daily repetitions okay now you have given this these values let's make a graph from these values uh, for 45 kN the number of repetitions per day are 800 and for 85 that is the maximum axle load it is I think 400 join these two lines okay now you have to find out the equivalent daily number of repetitions for this standard axle load which is 80 kN now you can find out this value from the method of similar triangles and this value will come out to be 450 okay 450 repetitions it is the A option okay now moving to our next question the 11th question it says that using this code guidelines for the design of flexible pavements and the following data choose the total thickness of the pavement you have to find out the thickness you have given this table in which includes the number of vehicles per day uh, rate of growth design life vehicle damaging factor cbr value and the data for this cbr value is given in the second table on the left hand side you have given the number of standard axles in msa and on the right side you have given the total thickness you need to find out the total number of standard axles from the above table from the first table so you can find out the value of csa from this equation 365a 1 plus r raised to the power n minus 1 okay into f divided by r okay from this equation you can find out the value of csa and this value of csa will come out to be 30 msa okay and the corresponding thickness for the 5 percent cbr value is 670 mm okay which is the third option c now moving to our next question which is the 12th question uh, the following data pertains to the number of commercial vehicles per day for the design of flexible payment of a national highway as per this code you have given the type of commercial vehicle and then the number of vehicles per day considering the number of lanes and then the vehicle damaging factor okay you have given two type of commercial vehicles okay assuming a traffic growth factor of 7.5 percent per annum for both type of vehicles the cumulative number of standard axle load in repetition in million for a design life of 10 years is how will you solve this question okay so you have given two type of vehicles now for these two type of commercial vehicles you will find out the value of csa for both type of vehicles okay it means csa1 for the first type of commercial vehicle and csa2 for the tandem axle trucks okay for csa1 you're going to use the same formula and for csa2 you're going to you're going to use the exact same formula you are also given you are also given the traffic growth rate as 7.5 percent and you have given the number of vehicles vehicle damaging factor you have given everything and you can find out the value of csa1 and csa2 and after that you need to find out the the total value of csa commercial standard axles and which will come out to be 62.4 msa this is very simple question I have told you how to solve this type of question using the same exact formula for first type of commercial vehicle you're going to use this formula and also you're going to use this formula for the second type of vehicles okay and then you will get the answer by adding these two values moving to our last question of today and uh, this is the 13th question this question says that it is proposed to widen and strengthen an existing two lane and its section as a divided highway the existing traffic in one direction is 2500 commercial vehicles per day the construction will take one year the design cbr of soil subgrade is found to be five percent given that the traffic growth rate and the vehicle damaging factor uh, design life and traffic distribution factor are these you need to find out the cumulative standard axles 
you have to find out the value of c s a let me revise the formula again this is 365 a 1 plus r raised to the power n minus 1 n into f divided by r okay do you have the vehicle damaging factor yes it is equal to 3.5 do you have the growth rate yes it is equal to 8 percent now do you have the anticipated traffic or the number of vehicles yes you have the number of vehicles in one direction which is equal to 2500 but the construction will take one year and the rate of growth is eight percent per year and you are also given the traffic distribution factor is equal to 0 0.75 so the total value of a will be equal to 2500 into the growth rate that is 1.08 okay because the vehicles are increasing per year into the traffic distribution factor which is 0 0.75 which is given to you in the question and the total value of a will come to be 2025 now the design life of the pavement is 10 years n is equal to 10 put all these values a is equal to 2025 n is equal to 10 r is equal to 8 f is equal to 3.5 put all these values into this equation okay i told you how to put r r is equal to 8 by 100 okay put all these values into this equation and the value will come out to be 37 m s a okay that is 37 million standard axles which is the second option b so with this question i uh, end up this lecture and we will talk about rigid pavements in the next lecture and we will solve some previous year questions okay thank you so much